And then when you're ready, let's twist. Bend your knees, separate your feet. Try to look behind you so that you get your shoulders and the upper body twisting. Let's breathe. Deep exhale as you twist. Slow it down. Come to mountain pose. Mountain pose is about standing with alignment, with confidence, with an open chest. Smile, let your shoulders relax. Come to your center, let go of your busy day. Gently refocus your eyes. Turn your palms to face up and move your arms up to your sides. Reach away from your center. Shoulders are down even though you're reaching away. Take a deep breath. Let's rotate in. Reverse, rotate your arm bones all the way in. Maybe the palms will flip up the opposite way. Reach away from your center. Try not to hunch, but keep that integrity through the shoulders. Let's do that again. Rotate all the way up. Take a deep breath. Rotate all the way in. Rotate to face straight forward. Keep breathing into your arms. I know you're going to start to feel your biceps soon. Try to breathe into it. Bend your arms so your arms are at 90 degree angles. I call this cactus arms, like a cactus. Soften your knees a little. I'm just gonna show you my side view. So you're gonna inhale and open your throat, arch your upper back. As you exhale, round and bring your hands together. Standing cat and cow, this is called. Inhale, open and expand. Reverse the computer slouch. Exhale, round, stretch your upper back. Drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. In. Last time, out, we're gonna hold the round spine. Let's round all the way down, let your arms hang, roll down to a place where you feel a good stretch. You could hold still or you could sway a little side to side. And we'll stretch out your back here for a few breaths. Engage your core and let's roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time. Breathe into your back. Everyone's gonna roll up at a different pace. So if you're still rolling up, take your time. If you're standing, open your chest, give your legs a little shake out. Coming back into mountain pose, clasp your hands together. Shoulders are down. Reach your arms up. It's okay if your elbows bend. Try not to lift your shoulders too high. Try and keep your shoulders pretty neutral and your neck relaxed. As you exhale, you're gonna separate your hands. Imagine you're sliding against a wall and bring your elbows into your ribs. Come back to the starting position, clasp your hands. Let's move with the breath. Inhale, reach up, shoulders down. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. So we're working, exhale, keep going. Our postural muscles, the muscles between the shoulder blades that hold our spine upright.
One more time. Just release your arms by your sides, let them hang. Take a deep breath, feel the relaxation through your shoulders, your upper back. We're gonna do another roll down. When you feel ready, drop your chin to your chest. Bend your knees and slowly roll your spine down. Hang at the bottom. This time, try holding your elbows with your hands and using the weight of the arms to pull yourself down even deeper. You can hold still or sway. Release your arms. We're gonna come down to all fours. Carefully come down to your hands and your knees. We're gonna continue with those muscles uh, between your shoulder blades. So you're gonna have your hands right under your shoulders. Engage your core so your back is flat. We're just gonna be moving through your shoulder girdle. So you can watch first and then we'll do it together. So I let my shoulders slide back. It's almost like a push up, but my elbows stay straight and I'm just using my shoulder blades to, to do the push up. And then I push my shoulder blades apart. I know I'm wearing black, it's hard to see, but I slide my shoulder blades back and together, keep my arms straight, push my shoulder blades apart at the back. Give it a try. Slide the shoulder blades together, they squeeze back. Push the floor away, squeeze the shoulder blades apart. You'll start to feel some heat building in your upper back. Breathe into that heat. If you want more of a challenge, you're gonna do this in a plank. So the next time you're pushed away, you would step back and you would do that shoulder blade push up in a plank. Very challenging. I prefer to stay on my knees. Let's do five more. Keep breathing, three. two, and one. Good job. Release, let's take a break. Sit back in your first child pose. It might feel nice to bring your arms by your sides to let your shoulders drain, but sometimes that doesn't work. So you can always have your arms under your head or above your head. See what feels good for you today. Let's take five slow, deep breaths. And let your upper back muscles relax now. Walk your hands forward, release. Let's try a plank into downward dog. Bring your hands forward, shoulders right over the wrists. Engage your core, keep your spine neutral. Take a deep breath in your plank. Downward dog, lift your hips. Adjust your feet so it feels good. And our focus in downward dog is to lengthen the spine, to invert the spine. So it's an inversion. If you ever feel uncomfortable being upside down, do a child pose instead. If you're okay, enjoy, stretch, walk the dog, breathe. Let's come back to standing. You're gonna look at your hands, bend your knees, and then step forward, or you could walk your hands back. And you're gonna to come to a tabletop with your back. So you're trying to engage your core and make your back really flat. Reach through the head and the tailbone. Take a breath. Lower down, stretch. You're gonna come all the way up that way, dynamically with a flat back. Bend your knees a little, lift your head, spread your arms, reach all the way up. Clasp your hands above your head in the temple position. Lengthen your body up and over to the right, half moon stretch. 
Imagine you're sliding between two walls and you don't want to touch the wall in front or the wall behind. Take a breath, hold. Press down to your feet, inhale, come up. Take a moment, reset, up and over to the left, send the hip to the right. Keep those shoulders pulling back away from the ears. On your inhale, come up. We're gonna do that again. Up and over to the right. If it's too difficult, just bring your arm down to support your side body. I'm just gonna demonstrate it like this. Just as good as the other variation, but you get a little bit of support to the side body. On the inhale, come up. Exhale to the left. Half moon stretch. On your inhale, come up, release both arms down, and let's take a deep breath and notice how the energy is flowing in your body. Open your right arm out to the side and pull your fingertips back like you're pressing into a wall. You could do more by moving the arm back behind you. Just don't twist your body. So just go to a place where you can feel that inner arm stretching. And then you're gonna turn your head away from your arm. You could lift your chin a little and that will get the throw into the arm or you could drop your chin. Or as we hold, you can move your chin up and down. Breathe into that long line down your inner arm. Let's counter pose. Look at your hand and turn your hand towards you so you bend the wrist the opposite way. Take a breath. Look forward, give it a little shake. Let's try the other side. Pull your fingertips back. Look away from your arm. You can add the chin up or down or a little bit of both. Deep breaths into that stretch. Look into your hand, turn your hand towards you. Take a breath. Look forward, give it a little shake. So now we're gonna stretch the chest muscles. So this is gonna be more about flexibility than um, strength. We're gonna have the legs quite wide, wider than the hips. This is called yoga mudra. You're gonna interlace your hands behind your back. If that's too difficult, you're gonna grab like a tea towel or a, if you have a belt and you're gonna hold it a little bit further apart or you can hold your hands right together. All right, here we go, yoga mudra. So knees can be soft. I want you to focus on the opening through the chest. So I'll go first, because you won't be able to see, because you'll be upside down. And then when you're ready to join me, you're gonna fold forward. Try to pull your shoulders away from your ears as you lift your arms up. Come on into it if you're not there already. Look at one point, you're balancing here. Really focus your mind on one point as you breathe. Keep holding your hands. We're gonna come back with a flat back. Keep your hands together, but lower your arms and lift your head. Push into your feet and come all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, release your arms. Give them a little shake. Feel how the energy is flowing through your arms, your chest, your upper back. Stargazer pose. Turn your uh, toes out and then pivot your other toes around the corner so that your hips are facing straight forward. It's a standing back bend. Keep your knees straight, lengthen up and out of your waist. Keep your lower back neutral and go back with the upper body. Think of reversing uh, sitting at the computer. Really open the chest. Look at one point up at the ceiling. Come on back, look forward. Bring your hands together. Step forward. Take a deep breath. 
Stargazer, second side. Step your other foot back. Align your hips. Straight forward, straight legs. Engage your core. Lengthen up. Go back. Look at a spot up. Look forward, step forward, hands to the heart. Take a deep breath and notice how the energy is flowing in your body. Let's do a slow, full sun salute. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, diving down. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, find your plank pose. Keep your core strong, keep your spine neutral and hold the plank for a deep inhale. As you exhale, try to lower down in one piece. You can also bring your knees down to help. Hands are back behind the shoulders. Upward dog or cobra, you can lift up a little bit or halfway up. Upward dog is all the way up, so the hips are off the floor. Try to pull the shoulders down. Take one more breath there. Engage your core, push back to your downward dog or your child pose. Breathe it out here. The puppy pose. We're going to do one more uh, back bend for the upper body. So you're going to bring your knees down and walk your hands quite far ahead of you. Your tailbone goes up as you bow your head down to the floor. You're trying to arch between your shoulder blades. Big stretch for the arms, the chest, the upper back. Let's carefully come out, lift your head, crawl your arms back. Let's try that child pose with your arms by your sides to counter pose. Let your upper back round now. Breathe into your spine. Walk your hands up, slowly release. We're gonna to come to sitting and bring your legs in front. Twisting, twisting opens up our posture by releasing the muscles that run up our spine, keeping our organs really oxygenated and healthy. So we're gonna have one leg straight and you're gonna cross one foot over. Hold your knee and try and sit up nice and tall. Whenever we rotate, we don't wanna be leaning back. So that's gonna compress your lower back. Try to sit up nice and tall and then start to rotate from your stomach. You're twisting towards your bent knee and then your ribs, chest, eventually neck and head look back. So you can twist as deep as you want. If you wanna take it easy, just sort of drape the arm. If you wanna work hard, pull that knee in towards you to help you twist. Close your eyes, go inside yourself. And breathe into your side, front, and back. Very slowly, let's come back. We always want to come out of the twist really slow so we can feel that flush to our organs. Sit in the center, take a breath. Let's counter twist right away. So just twist towards the other direction for a breath.
Come back to your center, hold your knee. Round, drop your head towards your knee. Release, lift your head slowly. Release your leg, give it a little shake. Let's do that all to the other side. Cross your other leg over, hold your knee. Try to lengthen your spine, sit up tall, inhale. Exhale, bring your opposite arm to your front knee and twist. Breathe. Slowly come back, counter twist. Twist the opposite direction. <coughs> Excuse me. Come back to the center, hold your knee, round, drop your head to your knee. Release, lift your head, shake out your legs. Reverse table pose. <clears throat> so this helps with posture because we're always forward. You know, we're driving, we're cooking, we're on the computer. Even when we work out, we do push-ups, we do planks, even in yoga, downward dog, everything is forward. So whenever we're forward, these muscles are gonna be compressed, the pecs, they're gonna be um, shortened. So the reverse table pose, gives us an opportunity to reverse that. And it's hard, it's a hard pose because we don't do it every day. So take it easy, don't worry if it's hard. Um, we're gonna do it twice, but just practicing makes all the difference. Okay, so feet are hip-width apart. Hands are either pointed out or forward. Just not back, not back. Too hard on the elbows. So we're gonna do it twice, so you can try each hand position. I should tell you the hands forward, or fingers forward is gonna be more challenging. Here we go. We're gonna push into your hands, push into your feet. Think of pushing your chest and your hips towards the ceiling. You could look forward, up, or all the way back if that feels okay for your neck. Just check in with your neck. But the main thing is squeeze your tushy, push the floor away. Open those pecs, the chest muscles. Breathe. We got two more here. Before you release, look forward and then slowly lower. If you felt like you couldn't really push into your feet, just walk them away a little bit. Usually that's the case. Let's give your wrist a little shake. If you want, try a different hand position. This is optional. If you're tired, take a break. Here we go, reverse table pose. Breathe it out for two more. Look forward first, slowly lower. Great work. Let's just sit for a moment. Give your hands a shake out. Let's take a moment and feel the flush of energy moving through your arms, your chest. I even feel it in my face because our neck is going back. We're not used to doing that. We're always looking down at our phone. So just notice your neck. We're going to use your core to lower onto your back. You'll sit with your knees bent, round your spine, roll back with control. 
Once you're down, do a full body stretch. Let out a yawn. Move your toes and your fingers. Windshield wipers, open your arms wide out to your sides. Bend your knees so your feet are as wide as your mat. And we'll go side to side, slowly sway your knees. Massage your lower back. And the head can do whatever feels good. You can turn your head the opposite way of your legs. Or you could keep your head in the center. Let's move with the breath. When you inhale, bring your knees to the center. When you exhale, twist your knees to the side. Last time. When you're back into your center, draw your knees into your chest. Give your back a little massage. Meditation. You're gonna stretch your legs down and take a few minutes to yourself to integrate your practice. Close your eyes. And notice how your energy is flowing after your practice. And use this quiet time to recharge all your systems.